Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, like I said in the video, in the description, Mara gave me this necklace earlier, so uh, I just turned the lights off so you could see it glowing. Uh, I'm here to answer um, any fitness questions that pop up, uh, and as usual, I'll start with one here um, that uh, I kind of had uh, beforehand. So <clears throat> one question that I get a lot is some variation of like meal timing, like, you know, it could take the form of like, should I eat... Uh, you know, should I, should breakfast really be the biggest meal of the day? Um, should I not eat anything in the evening? Should I limit the amount of food that I have in the, at, at dinner time? Uh, should I make sure that I eat six meals a day? Should I make sure that I have, um, you know, that I have like a, a light lunch, whatever it is, like it takes a bunch of different forms, but really what it comes down to is like, uh, people just worrying about like timing their calories, uh, and their food and their, their protein and their carbs or whatever. Well, um, and I'll say about that. I mean, there are so many different things you could go, um, that we could go into, um, <clears throat> when it comes to this, but honestly, like what it, mo what I find is that most of the people asking those questions don't have like the solid foundation of, like understanding like calories in versus calories out, like maybe they understand the concept, but they haven't learned how to apply it well. And so they're already thinking, you know, when it comes to fitness, much like a lot of other things, when you, you take 90, you take a few basic things and it's going to give you like 90 to 95% of your results, right? Like if you get calories in and out, like if you get, you know, like your, if you understand like, Hey, to lose body fat, lose weight, I need to burn more calories than I consume to gain it. I need to do the opposite. If you understand that, if you understand, um, the value of strength training, um, and you understand the fact that you need enough protein to sustain that, and you understand some of these basic things that you need enough rest, um, you need to give yourself recovery. If you understand like these basic things like this, that's where almost all of your results are going to come from. And then you need to, you'll find find other little things that you can do to kind of tweak that and help you to kind of take it to the next level and get a like eke out some more results from that and so you know I, I get some people want to start everything perfectly you know they want to have everything down to begin with but like a lot of times uh people just paralyze themselves by focusing on all these small little details and thinking i have to get everything perfect before i start so what i usually tell people who who ask me some variation of the uh, meal timing question is i i find out what they're doing now and if they are not even like don't even have any idea how many calories they're getting how much protein they're they're getting they're still working on you know getting a workout plan together whatever i tell them please just don't even think about or worry about this stuff until you get to the level that you're going to need something like that that's not to belittle them or make them feel like oh you're not even there yet it's to say don't waste your time on this paralyzing yourself with like things that don't really matter for you right now you know so the meal timing question falls very, very like if, if I could, it's it's probably the biggest one that falls into that kind of category for me. Like if somebody asked me that, you know, my answer generally is right now focus on how many calories you're getting, whether that means tracking your calories to find out to get it, whether it means uh, plotting it out on an Excel spreadsheet if you're okay with eating the same thing every day or whatever, whether it means just tracking it for a few weeks so you get an idea. Um, if I'm coaching somebody, I usually have them track calories for at least the per first two to four weeks so I have a solid understanding of where they are on their food and can give them the first good step to focus on um, food-wise. But, but basically... Um, I help them to get that down first because if they don't have that down that if they don't have that down it doesn't matter if they're eating a big breakfast eating a small dinner like timing whatever you know what I mean so I would say uh in a nutshell uh, the best answer to this question is anything meal timing related. Worry about your calories and your protein and things like that first. Make sure you're getting enough or uh, make sure you're cutting down on the calories if you need to, whatever, before you start trying to figure out. like Because uh, the other stuff, it doesn't even matter if you if you don't have that down. So like once you do have that down, um, there are a few things that I would suggest uh, that can be helpful. So like, for instance, let's just kind of take it through the day. So like breakfast it's a good idea to have, um, you know, if you're somebody who doesn't, who's doing uh, fat intermit, intermit, intermittent, I always say that weird, fasting, or uh, if you're somebody, you know, whatever it is, and skipping breakfast, that's fine. Um, if you're not doing that, I would say generally it's a good idea to have a good chunk of protein in the morning, you know, 20 to 30 grams. 
uh, I like closer to 30, like whether that's in the form of a protein shake, if you have more time, it could be sitting down with a bunch of eggs, whatever. Um, having enough, having more protein is really helpful for a few reasons. Number one, especially if you're doing like strength training and stuff like that, it's going to help you to like kick the recovery back into it, you know, kick you back into recovery mode first thing in the morning, uh, because you know, your body is already, uh, provided you slept has already, um, you know, while you're sleeping has already kind of burned through the protein stores that you had. And so you want to add, you know, you want to get the protein going again as quickly as possible. So that's one reason. The second reason is, uh, protein is satiating. It digests more slowly than a lot of other things. So when you have protein first thing in the morning, it can set your day up, you know, really well for like, not, not having like hunger pangs all throughout the day. So if you, you know, especially if you're trying to lose body fat or as like people like to say, lose weight, uh, then you need to, you know, having protein first thing in the morning can be a good idea because it can set you up for not being like starving right off the bat. You know, I've, I've worked with a few people when I give them, you know, they're, they're having, uh, trouble with like being hungry throughout the day. And then when we start their day off with protein and then kind of keep protein coming here and there throughout the day, it solves the problem. So that, that's one thing I would say, like, uh, you know, protein in the morning is a good idea. And then around your workout is another really good idea. So if you are um, about to go to the gym, you know, 30 minutes to an hour before, it's a good idea, probably closer to an hour, depending on what you're eating or, or drinking, um, just so you're not nauseated from having recently eaten. Uh, it, it's good to have a good bit of carbs. You know, I like to have like 40 carbs or so uh, before I work out, like within the hour before I work out, just so that I'm like pumped up and energetic. Like I have that, that immediate energy stores ready to go. And I like to have protein before and after my workout, at least like 20 grams before, 20 grams after. So those are a couple of things like, um, um, again, just to recap that question, uh, if you are asking things about meal timing and you don't understand your calories, you don't understand all that kind of stuff, get a handle of that first. Don't paralyze yourself by trying to focus on all these other details. Um, focus on getting your the basics down. That's going to give you 90, 95% of your results, and then worry about this other little stuff later. If you've already got a good understanding of that, or you want to have, or you want to jump into it, and you want to have a couple of little things that'll help, um, having some protein first thing in the morning, and then having some carbs and protein before your workout, and some more protein right after. Those would be the biggest meal timing things that I would, um, I would suggest. Does anybody have any other questions before I wrap up uh, the Facebook Live here? And if you have, um, if you get, uh, if you see this later or you do a question uh, in the comments that I, uh, after I end the live or whatever, feel free to just, just leave comments whenever and I'll, um, I'll answer there. I just won't see my face while I comment. It'll just be in the words. Uh, so anyway, hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Yeah, happy Wednesday.